These tools are exactly what I need to climb the wall. This is exactly what we need in order to imitate the flash of the fireworks. Why are you looking at me all the time like that? I'm just watching you, lad. I never know what to expect from people like you. People like me? Yes, street beggars and thieves. I ain't a thief. Oh, no. Then where did you get whatever it is that you're gnawing on? I very much doubt that you bought it. What ain't seen can't hardly be stolen. Constable Marrow, Watson, I would like to perform another kind of reenactment with your help. I'm listening, Mr. Holmes. I want to check if Leighton's testimony can be trusted, if someone could vanish into thin air at a specific moment. But, Holmes, I don't see how. I am going to be the mysterious gentleman whom Leighton followed. I will stand exactly where he saw him before he was blinded by the flash. Watson. You will be Leighton. When I fire the signal flare, you should start to chase me. I understand, Holmes. You, Constable Marrow, just play your part and do exactly as you did. Just, please, wait five seconds after the signal flare. I doubt that Polly Powell would have screamed any earlier. As you say, Mr. Holmes. Let us begin, then. Catch me if you can. This wall is cast in shadow. It would be difficult to see anyone scaling it. barely see anything. <clears throat> Holmes? Are you there? <clears throat> Where is he? My God, a man can't just disappear like that. Holmes? Holmes? Where are you? I cannot see you, Mr. Holmes. Dr. Watson, it seems that Mr. Holmes has disappeared. Don't worry, gentlemen. I am up here, above your heads. How on earth did you get up there, Holmes? I am using crampons and a climbing axe, although the person we are looking for did not leave any traces of such tools. Constable, is there any way to get to the top of this building? Yes, Mr. Holmes, I can show you. The door to the building can be found from Whitechapel Street. Gentlemen, I am on my way down. These shards of glass are from the window above. Someone broke through the window to get inside the attic, but in his haste he ripped his jacket. It's empty. A cluster of thick black threads. They're unusually strong. I should examine them under the microscope. 
we can conclude that the person whom Leighton saw climbed up the wall, broke into the attic window, and escaped through the hatch. Let us take a closer look. It is not a thread, but a hair. I very much doubt that it is human. I need to compare this sample with a human hair and a horse hair. Hmm, a shaving brush is usually made from horse hair. Watson, uh, could you please pass me your shaving brush? Here you are. Uh, Watson, look, what's outside the window? Well, I don't see anything. Ouch! Holmes! Oh, don't make such a fuss. One little hair. Human hair is significantly thinner than the black sample. The horse hair is thinner than the hair that we found. So, this black hair belongs to an animal, and it is larger than a horse. A hair from a large and exotic animal. <laughs> 